वेलकम टू द मैथमेटिक्स क्लास दिस क्लास इज फॉर क्लास एट एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद अ न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज लीनियर इक्वेशन चैप्टर फिफ्टीन इन एम एल एम लीनियर इक्वेशन मीन्स इन दिस वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग लीनियर इक्वेशन इन वन वेरिएबल सो वॉट इज लीनियर इक्वेशन इन वन वेरिएबल सपोज आई से थ्री एक्स इज इक्वल टू नाइन सो इन दिस यू कैन फाइंड ओनली वन वेरिएबल plus it is an equation also because it has equal to sign so this is known as linear equation in one variable and how do we solve this linear equation in one variable the very simple concept that you need to remember is that all the variables should be on one side of the equal to and all the numerals or numericals or numbers should be on the other side of the equal to and then we will solve it so i am moving on to exercise 15a uh, exercise 15a and in this there are 13 questions we will be doing in the multiples of 2 so i am starting with question number 2 i hope this you have studied or and most of you know so this is a kind of revision type of uh, this the first uh, the question is 16 minus 2 times of 3 in brackets 3y plus 5 is equal to 4 times y minus 2 first of all according to board mass here we can, we will be applying board mass also according to board mass we will first open the brackets so this can be written as 16 minus 2 3 is a 6y minus 6y and 5 2 is a 10 that also minus 10 is equal to 4y minus 8 now you can see that there are two terms which are having variables one is 4y And one is minus six y. Either you bring four y to this side, or you take minus six y to that side. So what I am doing, I am taking minus six y to this side, so that it will become positive. So and minus eight will come to this side, so minus eight will also become positive. So this will be written as sixteen, then minus ten, and then minus eight comes to this side plus eight is equal to. 4y plus 6y. What we have done? All the variable terms to the one side of the equal to, and all the uh, numeral terms to one side of the equal to. Now 16 minus 10 is 6 plus 8 is 8 and 6 is uh, 14. Now 6y plus 4y is 10y. so y can be written as implies that y can be written as 14 upon 10 or simply 1.4 or if you divide it 27s are 14 25s are 10 51s are 5 7 upon 5 this is the final value either this or this this is how we solve now we move on to question number Four. What is question number four? Seven m minus four times of m plus six is equal to seven times of m minus eight plus five. Seven times of m minus eight plus four, not five. Plus four. Now again we'll apply board mass, so this can be written as seven m minus four m minus six four is a twenty four is equal to seven m minus eight plus four. Seven m minus four m will give you three <coughs> m minus twenty four is equal to seven m minus eight plus four will give you. Minus four. Now minus twenty four uh, 
is here, we will bring minus 4 to this side and we will take 3m to the other side. So this will be minus 24, minus 4 comes to this side becomes plus 4 is equal to 7m, 3m goes to other side will become minus, so minus 3m. This becomes 4m, 7 minus 3 is 4m, 24 minus 24 plus 4 is minus 20 implies that m is equal to minus 20 upon 4, 4 5s are 20, that is the final value. Now we move on to question number 6. Now question number 6 is 4 times x plus 2 whole upon 5 is equal to 7 plus 5x upon 13. Now in this question it is better to take the LCM and uh, first of all we will take the LCM in this part. So LCM will be 13. 13 7 is 91, 7 is 21, 2 7 9, plus 5x is equal to, here it's already denominator is 5, when you open the bracket will be 4, okay, leave, oh, don't open the bracket, 4 times x plus 2. Now this looks better as compared to this. What we will do, we will cross multiply. So by cross multiplication, 13 into 4, 42. How it came? It was 13 into 4 times of x plus 2 is equal to 5 multiplied to this. 5 times 91 plus 5x. Now 13 4 is a 52 times <coughs> x plus 2 is equal to 5 is a 5, 5 9 is a 45, 4 55 plus 25x. What I did? I opened the bracket and multiplied. Now this is, this will become 52x plus 104. 2 2s are 4, 5 2s are 10 is equal to 455 plus 25x. Now when you solve this, 25 will come to this side and 104 will go to that side. When you have converted it into a linear equation in one variable, then what are we supposed to do? We will always bring all the variables to one side and all the numeral coefficients to other side. So in this case, I am bringing 25 to this side. Now 52x, when 25 comes to this side, it will become minus 25x and here it is 455 minus 104. 5 minus 4 is 1, 5 minus 0 is 5, 4 minus 1 is 3. And uh, 12 minus 5 is 7 and 4 minus 2 is 27x. It means x can be written as 351 upon 27. I think both the numbers are divisible by 3 because the total is divisible by 6 and 3, 9, 7 to 9. So 3 ones are 3. 3 1s are 3, 3 7s are 21 and 3 9s are 27. Again by 3, 3 3s are 9, 3 9s are 27 and 3 3s are 9 and 3 1s are 3, 3 3s are 9. So value of x or the variable is 13. That is the final value. Now we move on to question number 8. What is question number 8? 5x plus 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2 minus x minus 2 upon 6 is equal to 2x plus 4 upon 3 is equal to 2x plus 4 upon 3. Now this is minus means this whole is in a bracket. Then only it is minus. So always remember this generally confuses everybody. If it is somewhere written minus x minus 2 upon 6, it is minus is, it is like this, right? Now what we can do, we will take the LCM. In this case the LCM is 6, 
so it will be 3 times of 5x plus 1 minus 1 times of x minus 2 is equal to 2x plus 4 upon 3. Now when you open this bracket, 5 3 is a 15x plus 3 minus x plus 2 upon 6 is equal to 2x plus 4 upon 3. LCM will be as it is. This was minus into x is minus x. Minus 1 into minus 2 is plus 2. Now first of all we will arrange them. 15x minus x can be written as 14x and 3 plus 2 can be written as 5 upon 6 is equal to 2x plus 4 upon 3. Now we cross multiply. When we cross multiply 3 comes to this side 14x plus 5 upon 6 is equal to 2x plus 4. This 3 move to the side. This 6 I didn't purposely move to the side because I can see 3 and 6 are divisible. So 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6. In the next case 2 will multiply to this step. So you will get 14x plus 5 is equal to 2 times of 2x plus 4 that can be written as 14x plus 5 is equal to 2 into 2, 4x plus 8 is equal to 4x plus 8. 4 comes to this side, so it is 14x minus 4x is equal to 8 minus 5. 8 minus 5 is 3, 14 minus 4 is 10x, so x is equal to 3 upon 10, that is the final value. Next question that I am taking is question number 10 and question is 9x upon 7 minus 6x is equal to 2. Simply cross multiply. So 9x is equal to 2 times of 7 minus 6x. This will become 9x is equal to 7 to the 14 minus 12x. 12 comes to this side, so it will be 9, uh, 9x plus 12x is equal to 14. This is 21x is equal to 14. So x is equal to 14 upon 21. Both of them are divisible by 7. 7 to the 14, 7 to the 21. That is the final value. Now we move on to question number 12. It is 1 minus 3y, 1 minus 3y into 4 minus y, 4 minus y divided by 2 minus 3y multiplied by 1 minus y, 1 minus y is equal to 1. What we will do, first of all, we will cross multiply. So this total will come to this side. It means now it can be written as 1 minus 3y into 4 minus y is equal to 2 minus 3y into 1 minus y into 1. And whatever is multiplied to 1 remains as it is. So it is better to write this and I have not written into 1. Now we have to multiply these brackets. When we multiply these brackets, again I will go to the basics. It will be 1 into 4 minus y, then minus 3y into 4 minus y. Similarly, 2 into 1 minus y into minus 3y into 1 minus y. What it is, if we multiply a plus b into c plus d. So we know that a has to be multiplied to this whole thing and then b has to be multiplied to this whole thing. So this can be written as a times c plus d and then plus b times c plus d. So this is what has been done over here. 1 is multiplied to this total then minus 3y has been multiplied to this total 
then 2 has been multiplied to minus uh, to this 1 minus y and minus 3y has been multiplied to 1 minus y. This is a basic, the very basic thing that we learn in smaller classes. This is what it is. Now we open the bracket. So 1 into 4 is 4 minus y. Minus 3 into 4 is minus 12 y. And minus 3y minus y is plus 3 y square is equal to 2 into 1 is 2 minus 2 into y is minus 2y minus 3y into 1 is minus 3y and minus minus is plus 3y square. Now you can see that we have got a term which contains square. So this is not a linear equation. This becomes a quadratic equation that is not in your syllabus. It means these terms have to get cancelled. They will get cancelled because if these terms remain, this will not remain a linear equation. So you can see this side also positive, this side also positive. Either you take this to the, uh, that side or you bring 3y square to this side. One of them will get negative, will get negative and uh, they will cancel each other. So I am uh, in the next step, I will be taking this 3y square to the other side. 4, this will be 4 minus minus 12y and minus y will add with it will become minus 13y is equal to only one number 2 minus 2y and minus 3y is minus 5y plus 3y square this one and this goes to this side right hand side it will become negative so minus 3y square now plus and minus same quantity will cancel if it would have been minus 10 and plus 10, final answer would have been 0. So according to the same concept, these two have been cancelled because they were equal in magnitude and one was positive and other was negative or opposite in sign. So they have been cancelled. Now we have got 4 minus 13y is equal to 2 minus 5y. I'll take 13y to this side and bring 4 to this side. Four, when 2 will be, uh, two to the side, when 2 will come to the side will be 4 minus 2 is equal to minus 5y and 13 will become plus 13y. Now 13 minus 8 uh, minus 5 is 8. 8. So it is you can write 13y minus 5y as 8y and 4 minus 2 is 2. So y can be written as 2 upon 8 when you solve it will be 1 upon 4 and that is the final value. So this finishes your exercise. Now in the next class we have done up to 12 questions. All the questions that have not been done on this whiteboard you can do them in your practice notebooks and if you have any doubt you can send me your problems. Now we have finished off this uh, exercise. One more exercise is there that uh, is based on the problem. So that is much important. In that you exercise you will learn how to convert normal language or word problems to the mathematical statement. So this is much important and this has very much significance in class 9th and 10th chapters. So the next exercise that is about to come is much important. This was the basic concept how to uh, bring all the variables to one side and uh, numericals values to the side. This was the basic concept. But in the next exercise we will be learning how to solve practical problems. So by then uh, please stay home, stay blessed and keep studying. Thank you.